Today I wanted to talk about two of my favorite products in the Aveda range. So I have the Air Control and the Control Force. So two fantastic hairsprays and they are both very different. So I just wanted to quickly go through the differences between the two. First, let's start with the Air Control. Air Control is a fantastic lightweight brushable hairspray. You can put it in your hair it's very dry, so it's going to be able to set the hair. It's not going to make the hair frizzy or fluffy. Um, if you've got curly hair and you're scared about additional moisture being added to the hair, then once you put it through the hair, you can actually brush your hands through it and brush your hair, which is what I've got in my hair today. So I put some, um, I blow dried my hair, and then before I use my tongs, I actually put air control through my hair. I brushed it all the way through, then I tonged my hair, and then I finished it with hair air control, just to help set the overall look of my curls. Um, air control is a fantastic hairspray if you've got a little bit of oiliness that you want to absorb as well. It does act kind of like a dry shampoo, but not quite, because it does give grit and hold to the hair, whereas a dry shampoo can also make the hair quite smooth. Um, so with the, air, with the air control, it does absorb oil, which is fantastic. If you use too much um, conditioner in your hair and it hasn't washed out properly and you've blow dried and styled your hair and it's still feeling a bit flat and oily, you can spray some air control, control through just to give your hair that extra oomph and grit to hold and to suck up some of that oil as well. Now, Control Force, very different hairspray, but also fantastic. So the difference between Control Force and Air Control is that Control Force is more like a traditional firm hold hairspray. It is slightly wet when it goes onto the hair and then has to be allowed to set before you manipulate the hair. If you've done a beautiful big updo and it's got a lot of volume to it and you're using air control to set it, so yes, spray the air control on the hair or even if you've done a big blow dry, same thing, then just wait a few seconds before you touch it. Because if you touch it and it's still setting, you can cause the hair to kind of clump together. So you do need to be a little bit mindful with this one. But in saying all of that, this is totally brushable as well. So you can put this through your hair, you can have it set all the, the curls or whatever it is that you've done, and then you can brush it out. And once you've brushed it out, you've got definition, you've got so much hold, it is so strong. The way I love using air con sorry, control force, the way I love using control force is by spraying it after I've finished a blow dry, either on myself or someone else, at the root area, so lifting up the hair, spraying it at the roots, waiting a couple of seconds, then getting my hands in there and actually massaging the roots um, to give extra lift and body. So that's how I use the control force. Or the alternate way is if I've done something that's quite sleek and I want to tame flyaways and frizziness, um, I can spritz the air control and using a makeup brush actually brush the flyaways down from the hair. So two of my favorite products, the air control and the control force. Um, these are actually mine from my house, so I use them very regularly. Um, please, we'd love if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help you. And thanks so much for watching.